It's no surprise Governor Lulian Guerrero says she will sign Bill 181 into law. 181 is a local war claims effort, and its latest version, passed by senators, lifts the cap on how many survivors can be paid. The bill pushed through by legislators, despite some senators saying there wasn't enough open debate on the measure. I'm reviewing it. Our legal people are, are reviewing it. But for the most part, uh, I'm agreeable with most of the provisions there. While Congressman Michael Sinicholas said at a Southern Town Hall meeting in 2019 that it could take years after the passage of 1365 to pay all survivors, the governor said she plans to have checks so, cut by the end of January. You know, we want to expedite it as fast as we can, uh, Chris. And so I'm telling my people that I want to at least target at the end of January. It's the logistics and the process of getting the claimants to come and assign the claims over to government of Guam and then the logistics of sending that information back to U.S. Treasury so that they also can reconcile so they're not paying double uh, when uh, 1365 wins or gets passed. While 181 was passed by senators without a memorandum of agreement between GovGuam and the feds to ensure the local government is reimbursed for making war claims payments, the governor says that arrangement is still in the works. But she said at the end of the day, war claims are being paid with our own Section 30 funds. So agreement or not, the governor says survivors will get paid. It's best if we do have the agreement so both sides are clear on it. But uh, if we don't have an agreement, can we still pay it out? I say we can. For Guam's News Network, Chris Barnett reports.